Good evening. How is everybody? Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to stream tonight because I've had quite a busy day with appointments and normal adult boring stuff and got to my editing quite late tonight. But I've managed to get most of it done. I'll take care of the rest in the morning because I want to carry on playing Control. So we're going to continue straight on. We were... Where were we? We were about to go and find Dylan and we were going to set off on that mission and then I realised it was like half past five in the morning. Good evening Si, how you doing buddy? Um, a little later than anticipated, I was supposed to start about one o'clock, quarter past one, but you know what it's like when you're filming, you're editing, you get distracted, you get technical issues, you get things take longer than they're anticipated to do. So I'm starting a little bit later, but it doesn't really matter. I just want to carry on with the game. So that is what we're going to do. Um, let's just jump straight over. And get this going. Tired, my brain is melted for sure. I know the feeling. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my controller's turned itself off. Please tell me it's charged. <laughs> There's nothing worse than starting a stream. I've done it. And... You forgot to control. You forgot to charge controllers up. Nothing more frustrating than that. And I've added the spectralizer jobby thing. Looks okay. Okay, so I don't. Th I think we did everything we needed to do here. I'm holding on to those two abilities because everything I want now needs three or more. So we are going to go find Dylan in containment. That's where we are heading. Um, which way is it? It's just straight up, I think. Hopefully my stream is not all jerky again. I've left the settings exactly as they were last night and they were fine. So I'm hoping it's okay. Should be. It's down here. Oh, okay. Oh, that had to hurt. There we go. Just give me a quick AV check. Uh, mic. Game volume. Let me know it's okay. Because, weirdly enough, I don't just use the Go XR. I know most people do. But I then reroute all of the inputs and outputs from the Go XR back through voice meter into my internal sound card so I can EQ it. <laughs> yes, I know you're not supposed to do that, but I do. All good, thank you very much. Um, can we get in here? No, we can't. Bro, that's complicated as hell. It is. But I have two PCs set up in here. I have a PC on my left and a PC on my right. So to bring all the audio in from the other PC it has to go through VBAN, uh, you know, uh, broadcast over network to bring it over to my main PC. So I hear the audio on that one. Um, but I'm not doing a two PC streaming setup. Everything is streaming just from my main rig, my other PCs for me to mess around on that doesn't affect any of my main PC and editing and stream settings and everything. So I have that. And when I'm doing my filming, I need it not to go through a broad broadcast mix. You know what I mean by that. So I need to be able to separate the voice out 
So I send it to chat and then I bring that in on voice meter and I do the broadcast mix as the main audio and I swap that to system. So I've got separate, three separate audio tracks that are all recorded at once for me to use in post. It's complicated as hell, but that's how it has to work, fortunately. Clearance level six. Ooh. But yeah, it is complicated as hell. But when you stream and you record, I find it's beneficial. And then I've got everything in one place then. All I've got to do is open voice me and I've got sound from everywhere I need it. Plus I've got really expensive sound cards, so why not use it? Okay. Not seen those things before. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's just shooting the glass. Oh shit. They're coming through the fracking door. These things know how to open doors? How do they know how to open doors? Hey dude. See ya. Any more back here? Which way did they come from? Those things remind me of clickers, they do. Apart from that horrible clicker sound, of course, which is terrifying. Especially when The Last of Us in a game where, like now, you haven't got unlimited ammo. You run out, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, have a buddy. Oh, here, have a wheelchair. Whoa, what the fuck? That just shot some shit at me there. But you're right, yeah, they do remind you of clickers with that. Uh, 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 that horrible fucking sound they make. That sound with the clickers in the dark in The Last of Us sends shivers down your fucking spine. <laughs> that oh did I actually run out of energy there could I have picked some up I didn't realize I wasn't on full health yeah there we go just in case I need it yeah it really does and I've been messing around making new RGB um, icons for my stream deck today so I could add a lot of my sound files back that I used to use. I've not been using any of them for a long time now, so I've added all of them back, but I've had to get rid of all the ones I had that were music playing in the background, because copyright. I don't even know if I'll get away with half of them now. <laughs> I'll find out when I try. Oh, I have got one you'll recognise, though. You'll like this one. What about this? Fuck you. <laughs> I've got a couple of his. Sweet. I had to put them in. <laughs> but not the revivy one, because it drives me insane, because you die enough in that game. What's this? What's this? Gimme, gimme. Oh! P6 cell breached. His cell's been breached. Love it. Has the his found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? It's the his. That's my version of the his. Oh. Why does some of them have a yellow draw on the front? and some of them don't. Does, is that significant in any way? Oh crap. Uh, we might not want to go through that just yet. I'm, I'm not going to open too many doors at once and get a flood of them coming in. 
That's the last thing I need right now. Right, we checked through there, nothing's in there. What about the other side? <laughs> Not that I've noticed anyway. Oh, it's up here. Ooh, I would have missed this. The oldest house. Is there anything down here? No. All this room, and there's not a single thing. Oh, yeah, there is. I, I thought there would have been at least been a document or something in here. Nothing. Nada. Okay, fair enough. So we are going. Oh, I know where we're going. We're going in here. A one. Oh. Two. Three. Right, same door, just in case. Because this game does like to throw you. At times. Well, that's convenient. I was supposed to sleep in that bed. I guess you need levitate, right? Hmm? Um. Okay. Oh, pictures upside down. Does that do it? I don't know. Have we got keys now? Yes, we have. Fair enough. Find Dylan. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind There's of man another one down there. To be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh man, I'm getting a cough. Nothing worse for a streamer than a cough. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is <laughs> no, we don't want that, dude. repository for all altered items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get yeah, the door for we'll you. Yeah, we'll do that. Promise. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. We won't do that. Oh, the sudden stop hits theaters tonight. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. I know this might be a stupid question. Before I find him. What's a Panopticon? 
Is that a shape? Right, is there anything? Can't do that. Upgrade Pierce. Yes, we will do that. What do we need for that? Just more sauce. That's okay. Okay, so upgrade Pierce, stick another mod on it. I've got damage while aiming. Panopticon is a disciplinary concept brought to life in the form of a central observation tower placed within a circle of prison cells. Ah, right, I get it now. Thank you for that. And thank you, Google. <laughs> right, so we've got damage while aiming. Hey, hang on a minute. 25%, so we don't need the 24. Reload. Damage while low on health. Mm. Damage against enemy armor. That could be useful. We'll stick that on for now, I think. And is there anything we can do while we're in... Where are we? Containment. Containment. Executive. Kill his demolition experts. Executive. Hmm. How do you get more of these to come up? Have you just got to start them and get rid of the ones you don't want? I don't know. No idea. Right, let's go. Oh, crap. a random one then cancel it should change it oh should it oh right okay i thought i saw someone do that except ones you don't want to do and then abandon them to bring more up see if we can bring any up for containment right so accept that and then abandon it which one did it just bring it up <laughs> i don't know which one it brought up Kill enemies in containment. There we go. We'll take that. We'll just do that for now. What if I got equipped? Grip and pierce. Right. Mailbox. A basket of some sort. Maybe it's got some sandwiches in it. A fan. <laughs> so random. And a hammer. Where the oh, okay. We're going up. Uh floor floor. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan a nice director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't I'm loving my gold outfit, though. Oh, sorry, yellow outfit. I appreciate you helping me with that. That was ridiculous. Would never have figured it out myself. Definitely not. Oh, hello. Okay. Got more. 
Nothing in that one. Hello? Oh. Is, it, is anyone there? I stared at the whiteboard like, what? When I tried to... That's what I was... When, when I walked in there and you said, I can tell you how to do it if you get stuck, I thought, well, I'll ask for help if I get really stuck. And then, like, you, I saw the whiteboard and I'm like, it might as well be in Chinese. What's this? What are you doing? Oh, here? I know what this is. I know what this is. Someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My super blazer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. It's a while since I've played through okay, this. Don't and I only played so far. I purposely held off. I will take. I didn't mean to do that. I purposely held off playing all of the game because I, w I knew I wanted to stream it. Um, where's Fine Dylan gone? Guess we're doing that first then. Right, okay, let's keep going. Can't help him right now. Need anything here? Nothing in there. Oh shit! Okay. Those, do you? Wish I'd streamed the whole thing. Yeah, it's a brilliant game to stream. It's why I wanted to just hold off and do the whole thing. Especially because I knew I was going to keep the VODs. So. Six of them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, see, nearly missed that. Any goodies? Personal mods. Oh my god. Vade 13, 17. Would I ever use that? I don't think I'll ever use that. Launch 10, 13, 9. Um, got so many of these. Weapon mods. Damage while aiming. Oh, 34%. Hang on. We'll tank that. Didn't mean to do that. Get rid of that one. That's the object of power. It's I TV. It. Oh, that's trippy. Okay, then. Are we supposed to hold on to something? No. Bought a new mod today, cost me bloody 60 quid. These things are getting so expensive. Because my last one, well it didn't blow up, but I had it on charge. And then when I woke up in the morning, I walked in here and I'm like, I can smell something burning. And it had burned and singed the batteries inside the mod. I'm lucky it didn't start frigging fire. So that dies. And it took a pair of batteries with it, which I was not impressed. Because they're like 20 quid as well. Really dangerous, though. 
It's my own fault. I bought a cheap mod. Should never buy cheap ones. Uh, scary shit. Yeah, I know. And it was right near my, my, one of my computers as well. Could have fucking whole lot could have gone up. So I ain't doing that again. Oh Christ! Here they come. Ooh, you're a big dude. Oh, you're a big guy. Oh, you scumbag, I can't get an aim on him. He keeps throwing shit at me. Oh shit! What? It's managing, it's managing. Damn, this dude's easy. Oh, you scumbag! Right in my face! Oh, I need that energy, I'm gonna get killed, I'm gonna get killed. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. I'm going to die here. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> shit. Don't use mine too often. I have CBD in it for when I'm feeling super anxious. Yeah, I get that. Okay, we need to rethink our plan of attack with this. How far back is this going to put me? Oh, bloody hell. Hang on. Is it that way? Is it this way? Yes, this way. They're all going to spawn again now, aren't they? Maybe not. I thought they would. Attempt number two, because I caught that up. I managed to let him get two or three hits in on me. When he throws that stuff at you, it hurts. Oh, Jesus, he got me again. That's twice this son of a bitch has had me. I was trying to stay behind cover here. Oh, what? What the hell did that? Okay, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. Oh my god, I can't see. Everything's red. I can't see. <laughs> okay, that was not good. Oh, fuck me. I've got this. I've got this. I'm just... I'm not doing it right. <laughs> I 
I'm letting him get too many hits in. You do got this, right? Third time's a charm. I'm sure I remember tackling this guy before and I didn't have this much of an issue. Yeah, no worries, dude. Right, let's just get our energy back. There we go. Right. Don't get hit in the face this time. No, you don't. Oh, shit. Oh, you scumbag. Have you for that one? Trying to get rid of all these other guys out the way first. Because they don't off creep up on you. Where'd he go? That's bullshit. I was behind cover. Whoa, what happened there? I was just not paying attention enough. <laughs> Anchor supplement. Um, that's his ID. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the Redacted. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It discovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew, Redacted, by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. 
Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Blank rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's long known, last known coordinates and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. <clears throat> the ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the blank to the US port of blank. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the bureau by, via the tunnels. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm on it. Right. TV. Levitate! Yay! We finally got the damn thing. Okay. Not what I meant to do. That will help against the anchor. Okay. The cock thing. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Excellent. Anything up here? No. Nope, nothing else. That old thing. No. Oops. Search for Dylan. of me. Where the fuck am I? Oh, right, that just takes me back. That was stupid. More stairs? Ah, 
Nossa, hein? Oh, right, okay. It's a double cylinder. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? No. Jesse. How do I get to that? Where am I meant to be answering you exactly? Are you there, oh. Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Now I have to go back. Right, I'm just going to take a bathroom break, um, which I should have done first. So I'll be back in two minutes, guys. Okay, so now we've got to go back to the boardroom. Ooh, okay. I want to have a, a peek at all this lot first. There's got to be some stuff lying around here. You're back. Yeah, I've just took a quick bathroom break myself anyway, so I've just come back to. Telling me there's nothing up here? It's got to be something, right? Hi, Kayla. Ooh, that was weird. No, there's nothing up here. I thought there would be. There isn't. That's kind of disappointing. Saw that though. Maybe pretty quiet. I'm a bit wiped and finishing Hellblade, melting my brain out of my ears. Did you finish it, dude? You managed to finish the game on stream tonight. What did you think of it? I know I was one of the ones who recommended you play it. And I need to catch up with the vods of it because I've not caught an awful lot. Yep, it's done. It's such a good game. It's just. Really creepy. Anything else in here? So, next is Alan Wake, did you say? Alright, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk Couple about... Couple of gripes with it. Yeah. What about it? I just want to get your perspective. What do you well, think listen of her? To this. What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. 
I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? I'm right next. Uh, yeah. When I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to. But she never did. Why well, we're here now. Because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. It's not true. She said so. That's so not true. It's why she's here right now. I mean, look at this. Look at what he did to his containment cell. Oh, but it was very good. Some of the best audio design I've ever come across in the game. Absolutely. Right, so there's nothing else in here then. Okay. So we need to... <clears throat> get out of this cell, I suppose. Anything up here? Nope, there's nothing up here either. Right, back to the cell then. What's that? Oh, it's just a rock. So, where are we going? Where, where was the... Where did I come out? There's a door here somewhere. I've lost the door. Where's the door? What? Am I missing something here? Which way did we come in? Oh, it's down there. It's me being stupid. Right. So I'm back through here. Can we open this? Nope. Oh, document. Nearly missed it. Just observations. No cont unique containment procedures required when bound. Benikoff TV. The CRT television built by Benikoff and Sons Electrics. This screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of blank. When bound, the object allows power to attainings to harness the effect for their own use. See report. Redacted for the results tested with Prime Candina P6. Background. The object was first discovered in a local local news story from somewhere in Kansas. The figure had been blank over buildings. The bureau dispatched the agents to the town who discovered that a man named Blank had been bound himself to the object. Mr. Blank was detained, see case study, and the object was brought to the bureau for study. We've just listened to that. Control points. Did we watch this? Yes, we did. We did. Okay, then. So, go speak with Emily. How do I get to that? I don't know how to get to that. It's got to be through that door, right? So now, we have to work our way back down. Right? Bond. So I did not mean to do that. Ah, missed. And it got you killed. Idiot. Uh, where's that? Hang on a minute. Is 
this the right for? Really? How many shots to the head do you need? Oh, that's why. Okay, alright, okay. I'm stuck. Oh crap, my fault, my fault entirely. Scumbag, absolute scumbag. Ah, shit, I've been shot. I can't fucking believe this. Could everyone stop getting shot, 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 shot? Yeah, I've died three times already tonight. You're going to put me back in his cell, aren't you, son of a bit. Right, doesn't really matter. Oh, right, five abilities. So, um... Where do I go? Launch large enemies. I don't use melee that much because you've got to be in really close quarters and half the stuff in this game blows up in your face. So we're going to take another 20% health. And launch larger enemies. Um, collect reward. Remote thought. That's it. So we'll fast travel back to Emily. Damn, loading times even on an SSD are really slow for some reason. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely anti- No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. We will. <laughs> kind of the document. This what that wasn't there before. Sure, that wasn't there before. Timeline of events to examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behaviour. 
Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of a lack of reliable communications between the rural sector and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. <coughs> Sorry guys, I've got a cough to that. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the HIS get past the internal lockdown? How does HIS resonate advance through space deliberately or uniformly? What is the ultimate goal? The outside world across dimensional di destination? Further redacted for full report. And another one. If we understand the HIS to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance uni using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences in the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these ways to drag you away. Are we the you the his are referring to? Does the his believe humanity, possibly all non-his life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Or is that its goal? The second most used word are through and time. Is this possibly the his stating how they arrived here or an inc indication of its age? There's no clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense, nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. Okay then. So, we have... To go speak to Dylan now. Um, guess that's what we're gonna do. Where is he? Oh, what's up? God, did she have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall, CIA spy shit. I know what that is. That's the expeditions, isn't it? Nope, he's not in there. Upper level. Oh! You can't levitate in here. What? What's that about? Why can't I levitate in here? Marshall abandons us. I can get in here now. Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in um, Does anyone have a post it now lying around? Kind of short one. <laughs> Sticky note complaint. In case you're not aware, something caused a sticky note at my office to duplicate. My office is now unusable. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bowser, Vice Chief of Staff. Yet, there is one or two post-it in house in here. Why is, why is it unworkable? It's just pieces of paper. I'll be an arse. I don't stop you from working. Ah! Yellow! Sigh. Yellow. I found yellow in the game, apart from my suit. I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of disc. A security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall. Where the frick is Dylan? Oh, I didn't pick that up. Oh, it's a radio. And it's not playing because I've got copyright music off. Shifted bathroom complaint. I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing <laughs> for weeks now. I worked my ass off in, in Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. <laughs> brilliant. Just brilliant. Oh, here he is. You are a warm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror inverted is made right. This is just creepy as shit. This incantation he does. Shit. 
this heart is towards you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Never a good sign. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. Oh, shit. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. Kind of disagree with that. You want this Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. <laughs> you need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! Oh shit. You came into the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true of a copy. What the of a copy, shit? Of a copy, of a copy, Stop it! Orangeville. Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. Pioneer worms of tin, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. I think it is. Sister, the horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Ooh, access. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. That wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> Clearance level 6. Bazinga. I've got that somewhere. I don't know why. There it is. Bazinga! <laughs> okay, so 
go to the prime candidate program. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, right, yeah. Still can't upgrade any of this. I'm 5,000 source short. So, we're going, we're staying in containment. Is there anything else for containment? <sighs> Research, executive maintenance. I don't want level one stuff anyway, or level two stuff. Just no point. Um, Nothing we contain. God damn it. Ah. Not getting hit. No. <laughs> right, so, uh, containment. Good luck out there. That's where we're going. Here we go. It may not be quite as long a stream tonight, especially since I ran over last night, because um, it's shopping day tomorrow, which I hate doing. Uh oh, more of them. Oh my god, really? Swap guns. Don't want you killing me. I had a complete brain fart then and forgot how to change the guns. Stay clear of them bloody things are lethal. Okay, so um, through logistics. To the right. This seems to be right. I don't know if it is. Don't know how I missed that before. I don't think we can get to it from here. I'm gonna try. I'm probably wrong. Is that right? No, that's taking us through to the sealed threshold. Bugger. No, that's not the right way. So which way is it? Um... This map is so confusing at times. What? What? Through here. Maybe. No, that's taking me about the same route. Okay, I'm confused. 
Where the hell am I meant to be going? Through here. It's gotta be. Oh. Why can't I get through there? Is there a button? There's a button there. How do I get to that? What? Am I? Open the gate. Am I missing something here? Security. Maybe I've got to go around the back way. This isn't the right way. Oh, it does say security. I think I've got to go all the way around to get to it. Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Wow. The patient is experiencing migraine like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no Partial blindness. Time in the after plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for X-rays and. He doesn't sound too good. Get that thing. What the shit? <laughs> Something bad happened there. Ooh, lots of candy. Don't want shield stuff because I don't use it. Um, rate of fire, damage nineteen, damage while low on health forty nine. See. Wrong door. Right, through here, right? Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Just trying to make sure I'm not going the wrong bloody way. Dangerous. 
There you go, she's showing us the way. Okay then. Oh, dude. Damn, I was not expecting you to be there. See, this is why God duty always gets you killed. We've got loads of side missions coming up here, which we will go to. I think once we've done this mission. To find new prime candidates. The Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. Okay, hang on. I need to change weapons here. Um No, that don't do shit with them. Really? Oh my god, no it doesn't. Okay, bad choice of weapon. Um Oh dang, I missed the first hour. It's okay, pineapple. Um, cha. Oh! I fell down the thing. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. so it doesn't regenerate. Shouldn't it be really hard to run uphill? Right. Oh, got a couple more here. Um, Brightfall Supper. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of redacted memory loss. This room is so crazy. It is. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she'd been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Report Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartmill. Refers to the creator's dilemma and the file the Cauldron Lake Lodge. I'm not going to remember that. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping on our own. Wake had been flagged as a potential paratuitalian. See Prime Candidate program for more details. They were looking at Wake as a Prime Candidate? In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart entitled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor paratuitalian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. Okay. Uh, Victoria Mirror. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in Redacted, Illinois. Agents quickly found the item hanging in the local library. 
They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Supplementary materials date August 18, 1915, we certified that the case of Mrs. Blank has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Her fixation with the family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. Mrs. Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed. So in other words, till she dies. Nice. She ain't getting out of there. That's like the asylum from American Horror Story. The only way you're leaving is in a box. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. P6. Okay. Right, so that just takes me back through. Ah! Oh, what the... Oh, this is going to be creepy. You ready for this? It's the threshold, kids, everybody. Sounds like a sexual predator. I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains <laughs> can talk to each other. We call this E. <laughs> Excellent. Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no okay, dude's unstable. So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people or make friends blind. Yeah, that's great. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Mastermind. What if I don't want the big chair? Kids always say that. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! That's why <laughs> we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Ba dum dum ch. <laughs> That's just too weird. That is just too weird. These are my favourite. They are so. You should put these on Disney. Freak everyone out. So creepy, it's funny. That, yeah, it is. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Wisconsin, resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, created in an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13, 2010, by ex bureau agent Frank Breaker, that an AWE was taking place in Bright Falls. Breaker received a call from Barry Wheeler, a Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau field team arrived on the, Tuesday, on the 
site two days later. Ollis confirmed that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, refer to the 1970 blank Thomas Zane, 1976, 78, Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson, Alan Wake was believed, Alan Wake was believed to redacted investigator. Eyewitness reports highlight an old switch, possibly an object of power, that blank missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but no body was recovered in the search. Dun, dun, dun. And we just watched that. Okay. Um, that's P6. I will go in there in a minute. Just P7. Is what Dylan wanted me to see. Oh. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. I got an outfit. They've been tracking her. Because she's B7. Wow. So see, Jesse, you weren't paranoid. They were watching you the whole time. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. This is where it all but started. That is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <sighs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? This is a at parties, inappropriate interview. Parties. How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? What? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? Mm, you know, she did. Stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe... I don't know. Okay. Oh shit, we don't want to be going in there yet. Hang on, hang on. We came in that way. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and, and watched. watched me. They did. This is what Dylan wanted us to see. So, what's in P6 then? I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us, but wishing won't change things. You again. I thought you told me to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. And I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I would dig up my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeats the phrase, fuck off. <laughs> Numerous times before being sedated. So him saying... You bitch, I would dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. Is that 
what we've got in our head that tried to get in him and he didn't want to know. I'm presuming that's what that means. Ordinary. Finding the projector will. Much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. Agent Killjoy in blank involving blank blank codename P6. So this is the guy he killed when he said there was an accident. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck, extensive trauma to the abdominal region, lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso, fracture of the spinal cord between L1 and L2 vertebrae, avulsion fracture of the third through tenth ribs left and right, blunt force injuries of the extremities, abrasions, lacerations, contusions of the extremities, dislocation of the left and right elbow, dislocation of the left and right knee. After examination, it was determined the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the subject was contorted through his blank. Jesus, Dylan, what the hell did you do to this guy? That's nuts. Do we not have a video file for that? But I'll have a look down here before we go. In case we missed stuff. I don't think we did. But we could have done. But we missed that for a start. You gotta have a good look around because they had stuff everywhere. Uh, shield. Nope. I'm not cost while levitating. Nah. Energy gain from headshots. I, I would normally use a headshot damage mod, but I'm not hitting enough headshots. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. <laughs> See you creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It'd been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining at me. I wish to go I wish I got to go watch a parade of human teeth. Okay. <laughs> I'm not one to question. Gimme. Ah, that was a very dark room. You could have quite easily missed that. Oh, Entropic Echo. I don't think I've seen that before. Hmm, okay. Let's grab the elevator. Check we've not missed anything. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Oh, sneaky. See, that guy had been trapped in the elevator all day, just trying to get out, <laughs> and then I blow him away. Both prime candidates. Experiments. Oh, lots of them.
Wow, I actually didn't lose any health then. That's the first. <laughs> okay, let's cleanse this point. Very, not very often I manage to complete an area without getting any hits on me, I mean. from that now. Go back to Pierce. Where are we going? Oh! Well, that won't come up. Just come back. Ah, gotcha. There's one of them entity things down there. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Well, you would think. Oh, there's more of that stuff, look. Anything back here? Nope. I need some damn health, I know that. There's loads of health down there as well, and I may need to go grab some. Bridge up, right? Maybe this is where we're meant to go. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Okay. Ta da! Guess we're just to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred teensy little boxes. Me, that's who. And you know what's in each one? A single human tooth. Fucking bruvs. That's what the teeth was about. Um, weren't we meant to rotate something in here? Oh, I know it is. This should turn now, right? Which way are we going? Is it that way or that way? Oh, it's that way, isn't it? Nope, it's not that way. But what is this way? Is some health and a checkpoint that I've just used. I can just do that and it restores my health. Right, let's keep going. back here. Wow! An area with nothing. Damn. Is this right? This doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem as though I'm going the right way. 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, crap. Oh, shit, I can't see. What? Okay, that's not good. Right. things. Come on, where are you? Got you. Don't like them things. Because they're always right up in your face. This room is so dark, I couldn't maneuver properly. They jump out at you too, yeah. That one kind of jumped out on me as it was. I wasn't expecting it to, to be so close like that. How do we get that one there? Like a jack-in-a-box. Yeah. Not what I meant to do. I meant to pick that up because I saw that as soon as I came in. Ah. That's two. Gotta be a third one around here somewhere for that one. But where? Why am I not seeing where the other one is? Ah, there it is. Sneaky. Just in case. Because <laughs> that last one, the elevator, there was something in it. Search for this line, projector, object of power. Wrong weapon for in here with them things. Um. Oh shit, now it's the wrong weapon for him now. Crap. Wow, they really don't want me up here, do they? Applying evaluation. Ooh, frame drops. The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of... Cincinnati. It has been suspected to be connected to the blank AWE see case file for details and has been evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector brought there by the New York subway tunnel special access blank. For more information tunnel 
blank and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks and blank. The plane's black box is currently being evaluated for blank. Initial readings have been taken by research team, the team, though no altered status has yet been detected. <coughs> Damn, this cough is doing my head in. Just woke up with a cough today for no reason, although it's probably because it's really cold here in the UK at the moment. And me walking my little doggy three times a day, I probably picked up a cold or something. Did I come in here? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Did I? Nothing in there. I like to do a thorough search first. Oh, dude! He doesn't even know I'm here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Doors and corners. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played there in a lot. It was our secret playhouse. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Likely Neil and Hosenberg missing. It was me. He had Hansmer. Tom, likely Tom Barlow, missing. And his gang Freddy, likely Freddy Bartwell, missing. Hugo, no, no one by this name has found at public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Unconfirmed existence of additional slight designation house. Stage 1A. Oh, what does that do? That opens up. You're listening to America Overnight celebrating. No, we're not. <coughs> okay. An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary, caused by the object of power slide projector. So this is her her thing. Discovered by local children at the dump site outside of town, when a specific set of slides are used in the projector, projected images open doorways to other dimensions. How cool would that be? Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. On 30th August 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10, P6, and Jesse Faden, 11, P7, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. See, oop. 15 case details and Darling presentations for details. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived on the site on September 14. The AWE had already ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals are found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests see interviews and prime candidate program files. So that's why Dylan thinks he abandoned her. Because they got him, she ran, and it's only now she's trying to find him. But we know why. Because I just found this. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. We've already seen so that. Clearly humanity affects this process. We have already watched that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Annual event. Oh shit, no, stop that, because this dude's trying to shoot me in the face. Do this and never listen to that. Oh. Couldn't listen to that with all them chewing on me. Stage two, we'll look at that as well. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. 
The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building. This is going to be a weird interview. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. Since he killed Roberts. I'm darling, it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. Okay. I learned. Will you tell him? We don't believe you, In but a okay. Word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. That's bad. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It Leave it alone. Matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Wow. Oh shit. Health 28%, 21, 25. I'm picking up a lot of health elements for some reason. But not much else. Recoil, nope. I'm gonna get rid of these level ones. I want to go for the more rarer stuff. Right, with three. We had one A, so now we've got one B and two. So we'll find three before we read four. 1B, the second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot of bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had very crazy dreams. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. And then when we come out, everything melted around the projector. Neil was really into it. He found he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide. But that's not what happened. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designated meadow. After what happened at school to Mrs Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They've been using the temple slide, we called it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing like a warehouse or a bomb shelter. Very dark. The not mother lived there with her, babies, children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. What? They were changing into little monsters, we called them dung monkeys. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designated temple and not mother, which is of a paranatural entity. Who thinks up this stuff? Let's see what they have on ordinary. Yeah, let's see. It's a red house. It's all here. Oh. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. That's her. Didn't mean to do that. That's her whole town. <clears throat> Let's go back to Pierce. I have a feeling we're about to get ambushed. Or maybe not. Oh, look at the little trees. Oh, crap. I was saying. Come 
Come on, man. Gotcha. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Ooh, sneaky. Stage three. Some of the others had gotten worse, scarier than math teacher Mrs. Chester tried to make them listen, and they pushed over her piano on her, broke her legs. Wow. Then Tom bashed her head in. Bye bye, Mrs. Chester. How we liked her. I like math. This dude's a psycho. This was the tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies bad level bad. The grown ups realised something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and the others away. Tom was screaming that the not mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in ordinary. Mom and Dad were pissed, asking us about the dump and about everything. I remember wanting them gone like Tom had said. When we woke up next the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just vanished. Was I responsible? Did I? I don't know. Disappearance of the majority of an ordinary's population confirmed to result from the slide projector related AWE. So, all the adults just gone. Weird. They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. It does. Like a miniature, not real. Miniature, not I miniature. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for. There's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s. You couldn't find a poet? Zane. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no. Dylan is not dead. No, he isn't. That's not even it. You're referring well, to the imaginary Dylan's friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time. This is what's up here with us. Polaris. In a dream I saw. She, she showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? that you believe accident. Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There nope. was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't Cover cause up. it. She saved me and Dylan. I'm not sure she saved Dylan. He no. wanted rid of her. It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They... 
I'll find them. I won't stop looking. There you go. Dolores wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I We're have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Don't believe her at all. Wow. Holy shit. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Really? Pretty unbelievable. They did as well. What? That's a bit crazy. Right, what was that one? Stage four. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. He chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Looked like a dog. Like a melted dog. But I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. Think he liked being a dog. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Polaris. Jessie said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Extrapolated information. Additional slide designation. Hand is verified in your possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designated. Dog Neil. When they say a melted dog, I wonder if they mean these floaty things that are like bent over humans. I'm presuming that's what it means. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dormitories stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the blank department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed off at the end of the month. Please remove, remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type using slide projectors, found in this area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Mm. Aha! Club supplement. It's a lot of reading to do tonight for some reason. The item was found in the penthouse suite at Toronto belonging to David Wolf, who has been investigated for illegally dealing in altered items. Really? Bureau agents raided his penthouse found numerous paranatural belongings, including blank blank, and this item Mr. Wolf was arrested. Supplementary details, so why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's kept Toronto High Security up Society up at night this past week. Please say it's been looked into. Some nutjob radio show in the States claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But it's the reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping time. My ties with the world thinks he's dead. No. I doubt it. Oh shit. Okay. That gets rid of that. Where's the rest of them? Can't see him. If I can get him from up here, it'd be a major advantage. It's not cheating, it's a tactical advantage. Ooh, 
Oh, that hurt him bad. Look at that, three hits and he's dead. Damn. Let's grab this. Any more? I think there's more. I just can't see him. Yeah, there's one down there. Maybe we can get to it from the other side. See as he's hiding in that corner. Get it from here. Oh, you scumbag! That's what you get for that, mate. He's hiding now. This guy does not want to get shot at. I can't get up there now. Gotcha. Any more? We should check that lab. Lots of stuff to pick up. See if there's anything lying around in the corners. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Yeah, Darwin they put the catwalk the there. So. The research sector. He dedicated a whole area if he's there, it, so I can use it. it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. That's not where we go next. Because while we've been doing these two main missions tonight, new mission, Finish Tango. I wonder if that's Finish spelled that way because Artie's Finish. It has to be, right? in that corner. What's this do? Just open these doors? Yeah, oh it takes us back to the turntable. See, they really should have put something here because most people would not bother with the corners. Right, three abilities. So we need to start putting something else. Oh, hang on. Levitation duration, we've got to take some of this. 
Okay, um, but energy, yeah, fade, fade energy cost. Damage while aiming, 28%. What have I got right now? 34. Damage while aiming, 47? Isn't that more than what I'm using? Damn straight it is. Hell yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got another slot here. So I've held... I forgot, totally forgot I've got a third mod slot. So I've got health, health... Uh, recovery. Um, everything's energy. Fade cost. Launch energy cost. Evade energy cost. Energy recovery speed for now then. Just watch that. Just watch that. Right, so we will go back to central. Okay, missions. Um Investigate the light box, investigate the safe room, assist the agent in the panopticon. We haven't done that yet. We, we left that dude up there, if you remember. Looking at the mirror, investigate the sector elevator. What? Why, what does that do? Darkness engulfed the elevator. What? There was something there. We came for trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. What? Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? Okay. So Just that's another new mission we got there. The place while you're gone. But we're not going to start it tonight. Because I have an early start tomorrow. Um, let's just speak to Arish. I think you get a mission off this guy, so we'll just grab this. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the No, I don't think that's DLC. No. The Rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have run back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Okay. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Which is? Wow. Okay. I have to go. Me too. Bye. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Jukebox tokens can be destructed, constructed control points are earned through bureau alerts, countermeasures, expeditions, and defeating elite enemies. Hmm. Right. Um. Weird. 
Right. I am going to um, have to call that a night, unfortunately, here tonight, guys. Um, I know it's only two and a half hours, but I wasn't wasn't able to get on quite as early as I wanted. I got a bit more editing to do than I thought. Um, I may be on tonight, which is, what, Thursday night. If I'm not, I will be back Friday. All you need to do is just check the notifications on either Twitter or YouTube. I'll put them up for you now. Um, if you're not sure, uh, all you can do is just check there. I can't guarantee I'll be on tonight. I will try to. It just depends how much work I get done. So... Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the shortest stream for me tonight. But we've got quite a bit done. And tomorrow or Friday, we're going to continue with some side missions. I don't want to progress through the main story too much. Because there's a lot of side stuff to do in here. So until then, I will see you for the next stream. So have a good rest. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Thanks guys. See you later.